Mental health professionals will soon be joining some Oklahoma police officers on certain calls. Some of those calls can be so tricky and dangerous. Mm -hmm. The program involves a collaboration between North Care Social Services here in Oklahoma City and several local police departments. News Force Jessica Bruno is live with us here in studio this evening with details. Jess? Yeah, guys, North Care received a $5 million grant to launch this program. It will provide an alternative to sending people to jail in some cases, and it should be up and running by the end of next month. It's worked in other states, and uh, we're just so excited that we're, that we're going to be starting that here. A brand new partnership between North Care Behavioral and Social Services in Oklahoma City and police departments in Oklahoma and Logan counties. They will call us when they've kind of survey the situation and find out that where we need to head that way and we will. The program is called Champions, a team of 25 counselors, professionals trained to help during a mental health crisis, soon joining the officers on certain calls. It could be anything from uh, the officers finding a, uh, a family that is living in their car and might need some um, resources for housing. Uh, it may be a family who has suffered a lot of trauma and needs services for their children. Uh, they, it may be an adult that is homeless or an adult that is just needing mental health services and they refer them to us. Keeping some out of jail and instead in North Care's facilities. The program is receiving some criticism though. Josh Higginbotham, who serves on Oklahoma City's Law Enforcement Policy Task Force, has been pushing for a similar program, but one that sends community members with the counselors to the calls without police. You end up, social workers become a little more like police than the other way around. Um, and it's still the same drain on the police department um, that you had before, but now you just have a kind of an awkward set of circumstances that they have to navigate. Higginbotham says a program like that is still possible. He's presented the idea to other members of the task force. As for North Care, they'll be launching their program at the end of January. It's just important that we all come together as a community and help each other uh, with our different strengths and talents that we have. And North Care is still looking for therapists to join this new team. If you're interested in that, we have a link to their website over at KFOR.com.